I think their marriage was affectionate. Franklin and Deborah had a solid marriage. Um, she may have loved him a little bit more than he loved her. Um, I think probably like in most relationships that happens. They, they grew apart in some ways. As he headed off to Europe and started to hobnob with pretty fancy people and pretty influential thinkers around Europe and, and England and in France, Deborah is a pretty um, down-to-earth, uneducated woman. And I think that although he can tell her about his, his adventures and he writes to her to describe what he's thinking and what he's doing, she can't really relate to it. And she was afraid to go with him overseas. She was afraid of being seasick. She was afraid of the ocean crossing. And so, in a sense, I think he, he sort of outstripped her in a way. Sometimes Franklin gets a hard time from historians for leaving his wife behind, uh, for, for maybe not seeming as warm, and for clearly being a very flirtatious man with other women. So he, he gets a pretty bad rap from historians. No one, no one really thinks of him as the loving husband the way they do say about um, someone like James Madison or John Adams, of course, who, who was very much in love with his wife. So Franklin does get a bad rap, but I think he was very affectionate to his wife, and I think he appreciated her.